All right, folks, we back. Uh, we are working on the international again, trying to finish up the things we didn't get last time. So our goal is uh, get the AC working. Uh, we got to fix our splash aprons. We got to do a little bit of body work. Just, I want to fix one of the fenders on there because it got a little banged up. The, well, they're a little banged up. It just, it just needs a little bit of work. I mean, the whole truck kind of needs a bit, but that's the only thing that irks me the most is the uh, rear fender over here. I got a few little bobos there and there. And that happened, I think, the first week I had it, I actually backed into something. <laughs> but it's progressively gotten worse, the crack stuff. So I'm gonna, Ryder's gonna be out. We're gonna do some work on the AC vents in the truck. We're gonna get them to cut us some brackets and things inside so we can uh, basically mount our AC, plumb our vent lines. Hopefully have that working. Uh, I don't think I have really anything else in here. I gotta fix my compressor on here, but I've just gotta replace the pressure switch. So that's like just easy as pie. The, uh, it's just for onboard air. Like I do have a chuck in the back to do whatever I need. It's mostly just for the air horn, things like that. Um, do a couple little more maintenance things. And uh, well, the thing should be good to go. I'll probably drop it off at a buddy. He's gonna retime this thing for me and then uh, we should be honky gory for giving her on her road trip there in a couple weeks. Anyways, folks, hopefully you don't mind. A little more international action. Uh, I know in the background, Ryder's quad's back. He uh, <laughs> doesn't have much luck with his uh, four wheelers there. He was going and then it just stopped working. So we were trying to figure out what's going on and somehow it like sheared the, the, the pin off the cam. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be tearing that thing down and uh, so he's gonna have to pull the head off. So he'll probably be pulling the plastics. <clears throat> pull the head off, if we ordered a cam, we're just gonna replace the cam on it. Somehow figure out a way just to flush any little bits out of the motor, at least that's the plan. So, I guess uh, waiting for Ryder to come out and we're gonna go get started. Well, I made this vent, so this is gonna go on top and then the hose are gonna go out of there. This is, aggressively my hole was too big, so this is not a very good welding example of what you should or shouldn't do, but. So we got that, I've taken the controls apart. What I wanna do is build, and I think I might've mentioned that, I wanna build one of these vents up by the driver's side. I'm gonna make it so that I can have the heater controls beside me to turn the, the temp up and the, the, the fan speed will be, I don't know, somewhere by my vent. And then what I want to do, I was telling Ryder here, we're going to have to make a hole and I want to make a vent that's like a wedge that we can sit under the dash and then this thing can kind of go in, do whatever it's got to do. And we can nicely screw it in underneath. At least that's the plan. <laughs> Zero inside of that. What I'm thinking for three of these I want them to have the vent so I can tighten this up. We're gonna have the hole for your vent there. And then, so that puts that there. This is gonna be the bottom. I'm thinking instead of it just being square, I think it would look good if it kinda did a slight angle to the top, if you know what I mean. I don't really know what angle I want, so you'll be able to make that all up, don't care. I'm just trying to give you a rough idea of the the visual I'm going for. And yeah. how high do I want it? I want it about probably like that. I don't want the vent like in my dash. I don't know. I got to be able to tighten it. So let me scratch that. We got to be able to tighten that thing. So it needs to be a little bit higher. This might end up being a lot bigger than I thought. So we got that. I don't know what looks good for an angle, so we'll have to figure that out. I guess instead of being a complete box, 
I'd rather there be at least a little bit of angle to it. I don't know this. You're going to have to figure out the the calculations. Yeah, it's just a really bad drawing. But you kind of get what I'm going for? I don't want that. I want that side on that side. <laughs> All right. With that crappy information, build me one of those. <laughs> writer and I went and discussed a little different but so we decided we're gonna go this thing is we want to be able to tighten this so this is gonna be a three inch and then he's drawing another sorry that's a three yeah it's three inch on the outside because I got to be able to thread this together so then and then a 2.36 is the diameter for the hole and then what we're gonna do is basically build a box and we're gonna do this little art deco y kind of it's gonna look like a more traditional vintage air kind of a mount I guess so we're gonna make it it's gonna swing and swoop and uh, then we'll just sheet metal it after around the outside edge just to give it a uh, some depth so it's not uh, just this thing when you look at the side of the truck I'm gonna give it I don't know maybe a two inch piece of sheet metal just to kind of cover the side and it can kind of swing off and we can just screw it on the bottom of the dash uh, so we're gonna do three of those and then three hmm I don't know Maybe on the ends, I don't want it like that. So if we have them over here, we're going to do one like that. Hmm. I'm going to make him change something here. Well, maybe we can do that. I'd like this to be there. It's got to be able to screw on. Nah, we'll go with it. The one we're going to make different is the middle one, I think. We're going to build a big set up in the middle so these two can go on either side but I can still get at my vents and my controls are going to be in the middle that's my thought all right this should work though <laughs> we'll do a square so that's three yeah yeah so then do a three let's do yeah draw that but we'll go three by Four. Four that way. And then three tall. And then you should be able to just drop it, center it right on there. Perfect. Cool. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to, well, maybe we'll go a little wider. Let's go four and a half, see what happens there. So we got a tenth one. What do you think? It's gonna be good. Can you get that in? I'm doing the one-handed world there. We might have to do. Oh, we got it, eh? Yeah. This look like you're gonna be able to thread that on if we wrap around that whole thing. Remember, we're gonna put some sheet metal on it. I don't know that we can get that thing on and off while it's zapped into the truck. That looks good, or are we cutting close to the edges? Just. We probably should have gone a little bit bigger, eh? Ah, it'll be good enough, though. I'm not going to sweat it. Cool. Now we have a harder one. So I'm going to let you design this one. This is what we're going to do. Um, we have... Oh, what did I say? I think it's eight inches. Right in here. Yeah. I'm giving you eight inches of room to build. Basically, I'd like to have this same little sweep at the end, but 
we have to put this thing in the middle, the vent, vent, and then basically I wanted to go swoop, come down, swoop, come up. We need two holes in the middle so we can put this thing on, and then these have to go on. Easy? attempts because the plasma screwed up so I'll have to buff up the bottom here but he did pretty good this thing is a hundred percent on the button so that is good you can uh, drop a few vents in there Let's see if I can get this one out hey yeah, I think you have to we may have it a little tight but let's see if we can I mean, yeah, they're plastic not quite. Yeah. We'll give it a little. We tried to give it a little bit of breathing room, but we may not have given it quite enough. That's okay. I'll go get the uh, die grinder. We'll open it up a little, and then we'll see the finished product there. So here is our products. We got this and this. This one fit like perfect. Look at that thing. So we got our, our control and our heat. So when we put it in the truck, the goal for this one, once we do the sheet metal around the outside, is this thing's gonna sit bloop right there. And uh, then I can control the whatever, all the AC stuff. The other vents we're gonna have on the other side. So all I got to do now is I want to tack on a chunk of sheet metal on here that's like two inches wide. It's going to follow this contour and it's going to come up and then we can just screw it to the bottom of the dash and that'll hold this system in place. Then all I got to do is extend the wires from there into here, feed some power to that thing and uh, what do we got to do? And I need hose. I got to get some hose yet, but yeah. All right. Well, let's go find some sheet metal and try to figure this out.
All right, here's where we're at. I still got to clean all of these up, but we have our vents. They kind of went a little goofy. Like I realized something kind of twisted, which is actually nice because it'll give it a, a nice little custom. Like if you see, it's not perfect. It'll kind of twist up a wee bit. So we got to trim these edges back, but this is where I was just going to screw it to the dash. And then like this one, we got our two vents will go in and well, we'll grab our controls and things after, but essentially this just fits just primo. And it looks really good in the truck there. So yeah, I'm gonna clean these up. I don't know if I'm gonna step this with the bead roller. I think that would be just trick, even though it's just something I'm gonna see, but we might try that yet. And then uh, splash a little paint on it, but we're almost there, very close. <laughs> All right, so I got back from town. I got, uh, we got our new filter in. I got this one line, they had a fitting for it and I got the wrong fitting for the other one. So I just gotta do that. And then the system's actually, should technically be ready to charge other than we don't have a wired. On this front, you see, and I kinda, we cleaned this up, we painted it. I'm just waiting for paint to dry. And then uh, we'll start assembling all this stuff into there. I picked up some, should be the right size. We just did some sump tube. So that's what we're gonna use for our air ducting because it's cheap and I can do about a zillion cars with it. So once that's dry, we'll start assembling all this junk in there. And then over on that front, we're 
sort of semi-assembling a front end for that Essex. Yesterday, we kind of got <clears throat> Rolly's whole front end all together. So that thing is 
ready to smash into the truck car here. Uh, still have to weld the ends in it, but overall everything's together. So what we did here, we're actually using F1 spindles. Uh, like the whole hubs are from an F1 truck. And then, uh, so we cut the steering arms off, got some speedway, some drop arms. Uh, those are on. This had the other style of uh, a push-pull knuckle on here. So we cut that off. And like I say, we're doing a cross steer. It's gonna get a Vega box. It's kind of what we're shooting for. I just had all these hubs and everything were all lying around here. So this is like just a simple, easy to get parts. I've heard you can do this. I didn't know that it was doable. Like I was experimenting with it. But anyways, this is on a drop axle. Uh, like I say, he had the, I think this is an axle I did. And the uh, hubs were worn, or the spindle here was worn out. So he got uh, bushings made, like machined. And then you use, what seems to work here anyways, we're using, like I say, this is about a 48 to 51. I think this is from my old truck, a 51. So this is all the drums, spindle, everything from the truck. You got to use the truck uh, kingpins and I don't know, everything seems to work. I like it. So if you're trying to put juice brakes on something, it's uh, on a Model A anyways, it is doable. Over here, the frame's all Ryder welded everything up, got everything polished up, ground up everywhere. So that part's all good. I think the next step we're gonna do is uh, we'll be cutting this, well, we're gonna tack in another cross member, but we're gonna uh, get this thing mocked up, get it in there and build a new cross brace, cross member here for it that we can uh, bolt the spring pack down. Anyways, that's what's happening on that front. Over on this front, you've seen Ryder was tearing his bike apart. I guess we tore it apart a little much. I didn't know. I didn't realize you could just take the cam out without having to pull the head off. <laughs> so we have that thing. He got it all apart. We tore the head off because on the cam, we seen, well, it had sheared the pin. And uh, well, there's no damage anywhere other than on the cam. But when we took it off, when we took the head off, we had seen that one of the nuts was missing on uh, the intake side for the uh, adjuster. Which one is it? Oh, it must be this side. Boy, that thing looks like it got hammered. Yeah. It's a That thing's pretty buggered. Shot seems good. Anyways, I think what happened is like one of these nuts came off and then went in and jammed and then it broke the front of the cam. So it sheared that pin off. So we got to go digging. I'm hoping everything's going to come out the bottom end there when we dump it, the oil and everything, but I don't know. I really don't want to have to tear that transmission all apart to get in there. <laughs> Anyways, that's where we're at with that. Um, so we're waiting for a cam to come in, then we're gonna dump the oil, see what everything's going on in there. Back to the truck. I got everything all assembled here. So plan is now to put that into the truck, run some hose, uh, wire the switches, and then I wait. I have to get one adapter for the, for the AC line there. And then uh, well, I'll probably wire it and uh, it'll be ready to go once I get that. Well, ready to go by hopefully there's no leaks in the system anywhere, but yeah.
Well, that took a lot more of that tubing than I thought, but the overall look I like. I don't like that that vent is over. I meant I was able to get this side like way over to the side, so it's good. Middle is just looks awesome as far as I'm concerned, and uh, yeah, just that one. I just couldn't move it over because the way the tube goes and that AC, I couldn't get the unit to go back more. But let's do a little bit of tidying with some hoses here. We can still kick our, our vents open up top. Well, that one I always could. And uh, it looks nice. Hopefully, it makes uh, a lot of nice AC for us. <laughs> All right, what does that leave us left here? I got to do the splash aprons. I haven't gotten that uh, pressure switch, but whatever. Let's just unscrew two wires. That's done. And then we got to do the fender. So I don't know if Ryder will be back today yet or not. Uh, I might start prepping that fender and then get him to maybe do some shellacking, some body work. Uh, all we're going to do is just grind it back, clean it out, and uh, just fill it again. I think I still have a little bit of spray paint left. I think I had one in the truck, so uh, we'll be able to touch that up. I need to get one fitting for the AC and just wire the compressor, which is just, should be just the wire off the, it should piggyback through the pressure switch, I believe, and then to the AC unit. So that should be pretty straightforward and easy to do. Anyways, let's uh, prep that fender and see if, Ryder can maybe do it, or uh, I guess maybe I'll just do it quick and call her a day. Well, those sucked. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. You can see the bracket over there. They were welded on and that's what I was gonna do, but I'm feeling that they always broke because of that. So I just bolted it in. I mean, maybe it should be on a rubber isolator, but I'll try this again. Cause like, it's just the front one that always broke. But, uh, well, hopefully. We did both sides, so that's all honky-gory. Everything else seems okay down here, so. I am, I uh, think that's where I'm gonna call it tonight. I guess tomorrow I'll grab a, a fitting. Hopefully we can charge the AC. And it's kinda late. Uh, we did our little family dealio, so I think I am just gonna tackle this thing right away. I'll probably just kinda grind this up right now and then, no, I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. We're gonna call it a night. We'll do that tomorrow. Hopefully get the AC and then call this done.
Well now, what have I all done? We got paint. I first didn't have paint. Esther got me some. I had like the gray, not the green. And then I proceeded to get carried away and rattle can rebuild a lot of the truck that looked rusty. We kind of gave it a little, a little spurts. <laughs> By no means is that a fix, but it does look a little better. I still got to go around, do a little more. Then we'll probably scuff it up just to try to match everything else. Uh, and then I also made a fitting. Uh, I kind of had to hobble a bunch of stuff together, but we got what we need there. I just pulled a vacuum on the system, so I'm just seeing right now. I think it's supposed to actually run it for a while to dry it out, so I'll probably do that before I uh, go and, uh, well, yeah, I think I'm supposed to just run a vacuum on it. So I'll probably just run this some more here. Just let her go. I think it's supposed to dry the system out or something. I've never done one like proper, proper, I guess. I just kind of always scab stuff together. So anyways, that's all done. Once that's done, we're gonna throw a couple cans of the uh, charge in there and uh, hopefully it works. We'll find out. Can't say I have a good way to test it, but if I'm going into the negative numbers, I'm pretty sure I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Negative seven, negative eight. I'm pretty happy with that. Negative 11, look at that stuff. 12, sweet. Okay. I think we can disconnect all of this. I think we're good for in another two weeks when we maybe need this. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's been on my bucket list forever. I just have a few more little touch-ups I want to do on here, but... I kind of feel this thing is uh, pretty much ready to rock. I mean, other than hopefully the pump getting done, but... We even touched up this side a bit. Look at that. Doesn't look as cruddy. <laughs> the old rattle can rebuild. Just got to do a little splash on the tailgate and maybe we'll touch up the bumpers yet before we go and uh, call her done. pretty much all good to go. I uh, think this is where we're gonna leave this one. I uh, want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Later.